for your exams this year there is a very limited appeals process there is no remarks like we've had in previous years individuals cannot submit appeals it has to be done through schools so what do we actually do This is completely different to any other year because the grades that your teachers have submitted for you, the predicted grades were pretty much ignored and all of your results have been done by standardisation. So the appeals process is based on the standardisation, which means there is very, very limited scope for appeal. A student by themselves can only complain to the school and then the school will have to take that forward to the exam board. On an individual student basis there will only be grounds for appeal if an administrative mistake has been made. Now I don't mean trying to pressure teachers into changing the grade that they give you because that is not going to happen. I mean if when they were inputting the data in they got the numbers the wrong way around. So the rank order is a thing that is important here so for example if they put somebody who should have been rank 13 in rank 31 they got the numbers the wrong way round that would be an administrative appeal they can easily go back and check that they made a mistake they can submit that to the exam board and then this should be cleared up relatively quickly Another example that Ofqual give is where you've got two students that have very similar names. So if you've got a sibling or a cousin in the same year as you, or I once taught um, physics to three girls who were completely unrelated but all had the same name really really randomly um it does happen um and mistakes like this will happen where one student gets confused with another student and they've got those grades that sort of thing should be relatively easy to pick up by the school and then the school can take that individual case to the exam boards and it should be resolved quite quickly now administrative errors happen all the time we are human beings we make mistakes so i am expecting to see cases of this but they should be cleared up pretty quickly there is going to be another grounds for appeal um but this is a much larger one much more complicated one and even in the off call document it refers to these as exceptional cases now for this we need to understand a little bit about how the grades were awarded this year what they did is they took the rank order from your teachers not necessarily the grades but the rank order of students and then they mapped that rank order of students on to last year's cohorts so the grades that the students in 2020 are given were based on how well the students in 2019 did which means that all the hard work that you did didn't necessarily get taken into account it was purely based on how well last year's students did now this is going to be the grounds um, for any cases which go to appeal if the school can prove that the 2019 cohort was not a sufficient um, data set, was not a good data set to be represented of the 2020 cohort. Now for this to happen, the schools need to have a good basis, a good case, a good set of evidence as to why there was a big difference between 2019 and 2020. Some of the examples that Ofqual give is um, if a school had changed from being mixed sex to single sex or if there was a program in place which you know have maybe had been going for a few years but the first cohort to go through that program would have been the 2020 cohort so if the school was expecting to see a big jump in grades based on any uh, measures they put in place say for like example intensive tutoring or an acceleration program or something new that the school had put in place that would have only started seeing results in 2020 and then the 2019 cohort wouldn't have been affected by this sort of thing. Now the school has to have lots and lots of evidence for this. So there are two grounds where um, the school might come up with this. The one we talked about where they're expecting for very recent reasons 2020 grades to be much better than 2019 grades. But 
the converse is also true. So for some reason, the 2019 cohort got particularly bad grades. And then 2020 would have been back to normal. So 2020 would have been comparable with 2018. And for some reason, 2019 was just a particularly bad year. And the school will have to have evidence as to why the grades given in 2019 were particularly bad. And maybe 2018 would have been a better example of how school would do. For example, um, some schools were shut for flooding or, um, you know, the roof fell in or like pollution. So if the school was shut for a period of time, which significantly disrupted the 2019 year 11 going into our exams, if there was significant evidence of that, then that would be grounds to appeal that the data set that they used for standardisation was not the correct data set to use. Or for example, that maybe staffing in 2019, that the 2019 U11s had a lot of change over staff, a lot of cover teachers coming through, and that by the time the year 2020 U11s um, were getting ready for exams, they had a stable cohort of teachers, that the staffing was continuous the whole way through, or if a traumatic event had happened in 2019, um, for example, um, a teacher dying, um, which dramatically affected the, the mental health of the 2019 students and the school's ability to teach them that subject. So, there were lots of reasons why 2020 might be better than 2019 and there were lots of reasons why 2019 might have been a particularly bad year. Those are going to be the cases where a school can appeal the results, basically saying that 2019 cannot be used as a standard data set for 2020 students. Now, this is not done on an individual basis. This is going to be appealing on a whole school basis which means we could see every single student in a subject having their grades changed for example if you're saying that for GCSE maths they didn't have any teachers in 2019 it was a particularly bad year they didn't have any teachers because a teacher died in the classroom and everyone was really traumatized and nobody could do maths so 2019 was a really really bad year for maths but 2020 we're back to normal so it might just be that a subject is affected or if the school had put in a whole school-wide program, they did lots and lots of work, invested really, really heavily in the 2020 cohort across every single subject, then it might be that this is like a whole school, every single subject appeals process, where we're going to see people getting a large number of grades potentially changed. Um, I can see cases or I can envisage cases where this will happen um, and because it will be so rare this is the sort of thing that will make big splashy headlines so expect in a month or a month or two's time to see the big sensationalist headlines where you know blah 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 exam boards got it wrong and they changed everything upwards but please bear in mind these are very very rare cases even off coil are calling them exceptional cases and it will be like appeals to multiple examples these might even go like appeals to off call this is not going to be happening very very frequently administrative errors happen because we humans and we make mistakes they're going to be solved very very quickly whole school whole subject appeals based on using 2019 as the wrong data set that is a hugely, hugely complicated process. I can see it actually taking quite a while to get sorted for the school to provide the evidence for the standardisation to be potentially redone on maybe a different year or adjusted in some way. Um, so I don't see that happening very quickly. Um, so that is where we are at the moment, guys. Um, it is awful and it is rubbish. Um, but everything is awful and rubbish for everyone at the moment. The whole country, the whole world is in a truly, truly awful state. And it's really hard for us to see that at the moment because we're still in it. Um, I don't think we're on the climb back out. I think we're still 
bubbling along at the bottom and in a year two years time we'll be able to look back and go yeah actually you know we did the best thing that we could for students or look back and say and actually we did that completely wrong we should have done this um at the moment this is the situation this is what it is um you can you are perfectly entitled to feel angry and upset and though this is unfair um but we need to work within the system to move on as best we can um so there is no appeals process if you have if you're disappointed with your grades then um if you've got your place at university college apprenticeship then i'd ask you to just move on with your life and accept that you're disappointed with your grades um but if you aren't happy with your grades and you haven't got your place then the thing to do is going to be resitting in the autumn which is going to be disruptive to your life um and expensive taking time out of us college school working whatever it is so um i'm really sorry guys i'm going to do everything i can to help you as much as possible